swyddogol. Yn dadrach laeth, mae'n dyn sy'n rechts mae rhywun digwydd yna gan ol nos fel brwsh paent i ddwyffio. Ydy siwrdd pobl dal i drafod o gan y tsunam hyn am ddwy myfoedd maith i ddod. Dyw'r ddiol o? Na, dyw'r ddiol. Na, dyw'r ddiol. Na, dyw'r ddiol. On a good rest now with Coginio, Connor, Arthur Hushon, Toyso, the Kegin Brain, a Dosbach, Meister. On a good rest now with Horn of Kegin Brain, on Elvin now with the Toyso of Woodland. Sy'n y dosbach meister. Byddai nhw'n ymweld â chytrefi a chyginau a rhyd o'r lled Cymru. Yn rhoi gwerth i'r coginio a llon sosbon o gyflogau a chymoriau. Chwe'r rhaglen, chwe'r ffentys, pob un ohonynt a gyfynion yn ei grŵw. Peir yn rhai am ddysgu bobl yn y gegin ydy gweld i'r ymateb nhw pwy'n gweld beth newydd yn y gegin, cael prodod newydd yn y gegin, ac o beithio ddysgu hefyd o dŵl hapus, dwi flawer yn hapus. Byddai ar drywydd cynnychwyll geol a chynhwysion i greu canfweithiau tu allan ar y bardd ddigi. Y rhodbwynt y rhaglen res sy'n gwahoddio rhyw bob un ffentys i mynd o'n nhw'n dosbach meister yn y mwyfi o dech.
Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing okay. Um, we actually still have a lot of construction work going on, so if you can hear it, I'm really sorry in advance. Um, I'm trying to do it when it's relatively quiet, but a minute ago they started jackhammering out of nowhere, so we're hoping for the best. Um, if I don't film a talking segment today, I don't know when we'll have one this week, because I'm out tomorrow for my birthday, and then I'm back sometime Friday, but then Saturday my brother and I are going to London to see family. So it's a bit like up in the air. <laughs> um, so if I don't do one today, there won't be one. Um, but I wanted to come say hi. <laughs> I know a lot of you, I guess, almost prefer the talking segments to other stuff um, at this point. So here I am saying hi. I don't think I have too much to share, which is probably a good thing because of the construction work. But I have spent most of the week drawing ghosts. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm still doing my ghost thing. I'm still on my little ghost kick from last week. I'm now making little like affirmation and charm cards. Um, I want to get some like A7 prints made where they can be like lucky charms to carry or like bookmarks to put in your notebooks or your reading books. <laughs> um, I don't know, I've made a couple. I'll put them on screen, they're kind of cute. I'll let them roll through, I guess. Um, I've made four or five, I think. I make them sometimes from prompts people send me on Tumblr if they have ideas or requests and sometimes I make them. Um, I don't make all of the requests, it's kind of just if I like the idea and I feel like I want to do it, then I do. It's very chill. Um, they're not commissions or anything. Um, yeah. So, I'm drawing some ghosts. I drew this little birthday ghost for myself because, as I mentioned in my January video, um, February is also a hard time for me because of my birthday. Um, it is my birthday tomorrow now, which is like, it's fine. I'm gonna have a good day. I'm gonna go hang out with my brother which is really cool. He's basically my best friend, so I'm, I'm not too worried. It's going to be good. If there is anyone on the planet up to the task of distracting me on my birthday, it's Luke. So um, I'm really excited to go and see him and to get a little change of scenery. Bath is super cute, so I'm always happy to go. Um, hopefully it will make some cute footage for you guys too um, and some nice memories for me as well. Um, but yeah, I drew myself a little birthday ghost um just reminding myself how i'm supposed to be feeling then rather than succumbing to not the panic but just the tiredness and and the difficulty of it which i've spoken about before i don't think i need to cover it again but it's just the whole spending so much of your life not wanting to be in it and then trying to come to terms with the idea of a future for yourself um especially in the current world that we live in it's just a lot so um yeah i drew myself a little affirmation i guess this is the little outfit i'm hoping to wear tomorrow i don't know i'll see how i feel um i do have some issues with like body image i guess um i struggle a bit i think most people do <laughs> so i don't know if i'll wear it but maybe um apart from that not too much going on in my commonplace book i do only have very few pages left almost there um Someone mentioned that when they get to the point of almost finishing it and feeling really reluctant about starting a new one, what they do is they decorate a new one in advance and carry it around with the old one. Um, and that's really smart, so I might start doing that. Maybe not tomorrow. But I think I am gonna try that. Um, that's, that's quite smart. And then it gets a little bit bent up and it's not super, super new when you start. So, might give that a go. Um, in my Hobonichi, there's not a lot. It's a really short to-do list. I need to try and decorate that. I might do that today. Um, last week's one turned out quite cute, but I think you've already seen it. <laughs> um, if not, I'll show you in a minute when I start working in it. Um, but yeah, not bad. Not bad. Um, <laughs> the construction is getting so loud. I really hope it's one of those ones where I feel like it's loud, but then I can't actually hear it when I listen to the audio back, because sometimes that happens. So hopefully that's the case this time. I got my nails done this morning. I went into town quite early to get them done. Um, I always try to get special nails for my birthday just to give myself something to look forward to, especially if it's a birthday that I'm feeling a bit nervous about. Um, so I got some really cute little lilac nails with stars and hearts. I don't know how well <laughs> they'll show up on camera, um, but they're really cute. I'm really happy with them. There's like some little ombre kind of going on, like it's like a lighter colour and then a darker one with the stars and the hearts. Um, and then just some glittery, some glittery ones and, and some stars. Um, so cute, very nice. 
Last year, I got some like little pink ones with the stars and they look like confetti. If I can find the picture, I'll put it on the screen because it was just before I started making videos again, but they were so cute last year. Um, but these are, these are also great. Um, speaking of which, we're almost a full year into, into the channel. It's almost been exactly a year, which is kind of amazing and very surreal. <laughs> um, I told you I would give it a go. <laughs> I told you I would give it a good go this time. And now we have like 48 videos or something, which is like, it's like more than two videos a month, which is kind of cool. So I, I wasn't sure if I was going to manage it, but I did and I'm really excited about it. So anyway. Um, I was in town this morning and I went to Waterstones, the bookshop, while I was waiting for my nail appointment. Um, we don't have any independent bookshops in town, so I always just go Waterstones. Um, at the moment, the secondhand bookshop is closed for refurbishment, um, but they never have anything new in there, it's just a lot of old books. Um, but <laughs> I went to Waterstones, and you guys are gonna laugh at me, okay? No judgement, this is a judgement-free channel. But. I did buy the hardback of If We Were Villains, and I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking, I know you guys are all sitting there thinking, but Megan, you've, you've had, you've been reading If We Were Villains for like four weeks, and you've never read less than a hundred pages, um, and you're right, okay, I still haven't made any progress, <laughs> every week I come to tell you I haven't made any progress, but I saw this on the shelf, and it was the last one they had, and it's signed by the author, which is fine, I'm not, I don't really care, but it's signed by the author, but not only that, it's a special illustrated edition for the 5th anniversary. And like, I don't really care for signing, like it's cool, but I, I don't mind, That's not that, that wouldn't make me buy it. What made me buy it is the illustrations. <laughs> I am a sucker for illustrations, like that's so cool. Um, let's see, like, where did it go? Oh, how cool is this? Like, I just think that's kind of neat. I'm gonna accidentally read a spoiler, I don't wanna see it. Um, I just think it's quite nice. So, so I did buy it, okay? If I don't like it, I can always donate it to someone who loves the book. But I was like, thinking about it when I was there and I was like, well, I am enjoying it. And if I end up really loving it and I hadn't bought it, I'd be so annoyed if I went back to get this and they didn't have it. Um, so I bought it and, and you know, I can always give it away if, I t if it ends up that I really hate the book somehow. Um, I don't think that's going to happen, but um, I, did, I did buy it even though I'm making no progress on the book. Um, it's a really nice edition and the, there's watercolour on the inside here too. And then also the embossing on the front is just chef's kiss, the foiling, it's not embossed, it's just foiled. Um, but how nice. Is it the same one at the back? I just think it's cool, okay? I just think it's neat. Um, I also bought... Oh, I also bought a Carmex <laughs> because apparently 13 isn't enough. I like to have one in every coat that I own and I own a lot of like jackets and coats and overshirts. Um, so this one is peach and mango. It's either going to be really bad or really good, so I'll let you know. Um, I also bought this book by Hashi Muhammad. Um, it's called A Home of One's Own and it's it's just about the housing crisis and what having an insecure home does to people over time, I guess. Um, I was skimming through it and it's a topic that I'm quite passionate about. I feel, I feel a lot of ways about it, <laughs> um, about homes and the lack of a permanent space and like I've always lived in rented houses so I've never been able to put as many shelves up and stuff as I want, that kind of thing, because it's just not worth the hassle. Um, I've never, my, neither of my parents own a home, I've never lived in a home that was owned, only rented. And then I lived in student accommodation, obviously, I lived in a really bad student house for one year. Um, so, I don't know, it's just something to think about, I guess. Um, yeah, it's, it just sounded really interesting, maybe you can pause it and read the blurb, but I was skimming through it and I just... It's only a short book, a little thing, so I thought it might be nice to read. It is a topic that I'm interested in, especially in the UK at the moment, when things just seem to keep getting worse. Um, housing instability is, is a big problem we have, <laughs> so I don't know. It'll probably really bum me out to read it, but it doesn't hurt to be aware, I guess, even though I already feel like I'm like acutely aware. Um, I don't know, okay, it was cute and um, the colours are nice and I care about the topic, so I thought I might give it a go. I might take this with me to Bath. Um, I should take If We Were Villains, <laughs> the paperback, 
but because I'm going to be walking around all day and I'm staying overnight with my brother so I'll have to take toiletries and stuff to be able to wash my face um, and pyjamas, that kind of thing and plugs, so it's always just a bit of a hassle so because I'll be carrying a lot during the day I think I'm probably going to take a really small book if I take one for the train either that or I might have to commit a crime and just not take a book <laughs> um, and just listen to music or sleep I normally just sleep on the train I always bring a book for the train and then I always just take a nap like <laughs> that's the truth of the matter um, the train is the place where I sleep soundest I don't know why, it must be because I grew up in London but like the sleep I have on a train as an insomniac, the sleep I have on a train is just unparalleled um, so to be honest, I might not take a book um, there's a really nice bookshop in Bath called Toppings um, and I might go there with Luke so maybe I'll even bring more books home and then I definitely shouldn't bring one with me um, yeah, that is something to think about something to think about okay, I think that's all this week I'm not gonna make you sit and listen to the construction all day <laughs> um, I am just drawing ghosts I... I'm doing a lot of laundry actually this week. This week, you guys, I'm not procrastinating my laundry. This week I'm actually doing laundry, so that's cool. Um, I might read this. I'm gonna decorate my week and my hobonichi because I haven't done that yet. Um, and I'm gonna drink my tea. <laughs> and then, I don't know what, get ready for tomorrow, I guess. Um, basically, just trying not to think about it. Just trying not to think about it. Yep. Cute nails though cute nails that's something to live for <laughs> okay um i will see you in the next couple of days i hope you enjoy the footage hopefully it's going to be really cute um yeah i will see you next week branches, a beautiful woodland scene, but what I see is different, because I'm seeing every trunk, every branch, I'm seeing the connections between them, and then I see the leaves, I can see the slightly different colours, slightly different shapes, any damage that's been done to them. As a naturalist, this is enormously beneficial. But sometimes all of this, the visual part of my world, is simply too much. It becomes utterly overwhelming. And that's because I'm autistic. Thank you.